where else could you step off the wharf of a big city onto an America's Cup super yacht, hoist the sails and take a spin around the harbour? No experience necessary, just sit back and bask in the thrill of it all. It's great though that people are able to come out here and enjoy the experience because I mean really it's always thought of as a bit of a billionaire sport isn't it? Particularly for non-sailors, people who perhaps might not have access to the sea in this way can come out and experience it. But to come out on a boat like this that's set up with a professional crew to do it, and it's such a beautiful harbour, I mean what a great setting. You know if you come to Auckland you've got to do something like this or else you haven't really experienced the city. Auckland is just a fantastic place with the ocean surrounding us on all sides and with so many great harbours. I've always heard that Auckland's got the most boats per capita in the world, is that true? Certainly we have a huge number of boats of all different shapes and sizes and many of them are home built and sometimes passed down from generation to generation, you know, and going out in the boat that your granddad built back in the day, it's all part of it too. What I teach my students at the university is a very basic thing that my parents taught me when, when I was growing up and that is, you know, if, if you leave a place better than you found it, um, if you borrow something, give it back in better condition than you received it. That's a really good ethic, I think, to live by. I'm trying to do that with this yacht, by the way. I'm, 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 I'm going <laughs> to bring it back you, in good condition. Listen, we're burning no carbon here. We're using nature's beautiful power of the wind to get along quite gently, and it's lovely, isn't it? It feels great. What do you really love about sailing? It's a sensation or a feeling that, for me, lifts my spirit. It touches something that's deep inside me. And it'll touch you too once you're out here. Any day of the week, the harbour's yours. That rhythm of the ocean, that connection with the natural order of things, is something that I think touches something that's fundamental about who we are as living organisms. That's beautiful, that mate. Sense? I think you should be a poet, not a professor. Mate. <laughs> you can't help but feel the same way racing along on a fair wind in this gorgeous harbour. 